Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the nitrate based medications. We have basically three medications either nitroglycerin, which is the most commonly used, or isozobride, dinitrate, or mononitrate. Dinitrite is basically the inactive form and it has to go through the liver to be activated, while mononitrite is the active form and it has very high bioavailability. These medications are venodilators and because most of our blood is in the veins, this gives the effect of acute hypovolemia. So we'll have decreased preload in the heart and this results in decreased left ventricular and diastolic pressure and subsequent decreased heart work. This is achieved by increasing cyclic GMP within the smooth muscles of the veins, which decreases intracellular calcium and causes dephosphorylation. We use these nitrate-based medications for any case in which we want the heart to work as little as possible, such as the case for angina or acute coronary syndrome. And sometimes the effect of pseudohypovolemia can be beneficial for pulmonary edema. Because of the venous dilation, it will cause hypotension and reflux tachycardia as the heart tries to compensate for the presumed volume loss. This effect can be countered with beta blockers. These medications also cause flushing, headache, especially in the morning, and dizziness. And here's a small quiz. Which of the following conditions makes nitrate medications contraindicated? The answer is right heart failure. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.